Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video of the series Swift UI Crash Course. So in this video we'll be talking about what we'll be covering in this whole course. So I'll be going through the topics one by one and we'll see. Okay, so let me open my browser. Oh, why is it not opening? Okay. Oh, All right. Uh, so I have created a Trello board in which I uh, list down all the topics that I, I will gonna cover. All the work related to the course, I use this Trello board. I think you should also explore it. It is a very nice tool. Okay, so let's come back to the planned lectures. The first lecture, which is the quick overview, uh, we are already doing it. Uh, this is the first video. And after this, we'll be covering the Swift UI basics. And then we'll be uh, moving forward to the text element, images, customs, shapes, text fields, like all the elements that we are we are gonna use in Swift UI. Uh, then text editor, groups, and uh, how to cover the whole screen, like how can we ignore the safe area. Then the buttons, colors, system icons, frames, V stack, H stack, like uh, you might have, if you are from Swift, then you might have already used stack views. So similarly in Swift UI, there are vertical stacks, horizontal stacks. So the whole layout in Swift UI is drawn using these, these V stack and H stacks. We'll cover it in details in the 14th lecture. Then there are initializers for each loop, scroll view, and grid layouts, state, which is a very important topic, and bindings, then refactoring views like uh, uh, how to write clean code in Swift UI. So you can create your own custom views. So it is more like a more like a component based structure. So every component you can create and reuse in other views too. After this, there is animations, sheets, and pop-ups, and um, this 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 and there's a tab bar which is also a very important topic that you might have seen in most of the apps like at the bottom there are three to four menus that you can select and toggle between the screens you might have seen it in majority of the screens uh, majority of the apps sorry and then there is tab gestures view life cycle and app storage so if you want to um, store some data in your app like then you can use app storage like previously, if you are from Swift, you might have used user defaults, which is also great, but app storage is a pretty easy way to uh, store the data and retrieve it. We'll be discussing it in lecture number 42. After that, there is asynchronous image loading. So if you are loading images from URL, then you can just directly use async image. So some of these features were totally missing in Swift, and now Swift UI has added all these features so it's a pretty great framework so you will definitely enjoy learning it after this there is a text selection and share option we will be discussing that too and then we'll be discussing about how we can uh, use swift package manager inside our swift ui projects uh, we will also be checking cocoa ports but majorly i i prefer now to use swift package manager after that we'll be learning about how we can call apis in swift ui so most of the apps that you work, you always work with APIs. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing how we can incorporate APIs in our project in Swift UI. After that, the last project is, the last uh, lecture is about creating a Swift UI weather app. So all the topics that we have learned in the above lectures, we'll be trying to cover it all in this weather app. And I hope you'll get more clarity and it will be like a revision of everything that you have learned in the previous lectures so everything that you learned in the previous lectures will be used in this final project which is a weather app so i hope uh, all these topics are clear to you and i will also mention these all in the description so you can uh, if you want to check then you can just read the description so yeah that's all about the project and i hope you got a little idea about what we'll be covering in this videos if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe and uh, please follow up with every lecture like if you even spend 30 minutes a day then also uh, i think in 15 to 20 days you will be able to uh, get an idea about using swift ui and if you are already a swift developer then you, it will be very helpful for from migrating from swift to swift ui 
all right that's it from this lecture and i'll see you guys in next video thank you